Hey guys, I want to talk to you about the 2021 Chevy Trailblazer that we found again at our lot. This one here is an LT, that, and I'm going to talk a little bit more today about all the, what we know about the Trailblazer so far. This is our first one and it is already sold, so that is a study. So why don't you guys buckle in, we'll go for a ride. So this is the new Chevy Trailblazer. This model is an LT, so they have five different trim levels. They have the L, which is the fleet model, and then it's really low in price. Uh, the LS, which is the base model, and then of course the LT, which is this model right here. Uh, an active model, which is a little more for off-roading and or outdoor adventure enthusiasts. And then um, they do RS, which is a little more sporty. And it kind of takes after the Blazer. Um, as you can see, the styling does match the Blazer. As you've seen, that's been happening with a lot of the Chevrolet models that have come out. Uh, it's got the LED uh, band lights for the headlights, and then of course, much like the Blazer, they've moved the headlight down here actually onto the bottom. As we move under the hood of the Trailblazer, you're gonna find for this new model, it's got two new engines. We have the 1.2 liter turbocharged engine. Um, you're gonna see that primarily on the LS models and the front wheel drives. That 1.2 liter is CVT for the transmission. It's something that they added on the Chevy Malibu this last year. But this model right here and the one that you're gonna see most of the dealers carry is the 1.3 liter turbocharged. This one here is paired with a 90 speed transmission 155 horsepower and it's very zippy. It's definitely going to be on the active and the RS trim models. Both the engines, oops, oops, sorry, I'm down here, huh? Forgot about that. So most, uh, both of those engines are going to have the start-stop technology, very well valve timing. So uh, it's still going to help you get great gas mileage and uh, ample horsepower for the size of the vehicle. As we move to the back of the Trailblazer, we can discuss a little bit more about what the Trailblazer is and where it appears in the Chevrolet lineup. The Trailblazer fits between the Chevy Equinox and the Chevy Trax. The Trax is a compact SUV in the Chevrolet lineup, and this is actually gonna be considered in the compact SUV segment, which is rapidly growing in the world as people are driving less and less cars. This vehicle right here, the seats do fold down as you see in the Trax and in the Equinox. The 60-40 folding bench seat hits you 54.4 cubic feet. Uh, it is a five passenger vehicle. Um, to give you any idea of where that falls in the Chevrolet lineup. The Chevy Equinox is 69.3 cubic feet with the seats folded down and the Chevy Trax is like 48, point, 48 cubic feet, somewhere around there. It's almost 50, this mass sometimes. Something that it does on the tracks, but not on the equinoxes. That front seat does fold down. Then you have eight feet all the way to the front if you needed to put something, um, kayak, uh, probably like a boogie board, not like a full surfboard. You do have that option if you ever need it. So I'm, I'm a big guy, almost six feet tall. And this seat is set up for me to drive this vehicle. There's still ample room back here. There's actually a lot more room than I would expect. Definitely more room than the, uh, the tracks. And I would guess it's probably about the same amount of room, almost feels at least, as the Equinox. Um, also back here, you will find a 110 outlet, a USB, and a USB-C, so that everyone in the car can be properly charged. Alright, so as we move inside the Chevy Trailblazer, the steering wheel is very similar to the Cruise, kind of Blazer inspired, has some similarities of each. Um, automatic lights, this is very much modeled after the Equinox. 
very similar cluster to the Equinox and tracks attack speed oh, let's check out the driver information center um, yeah if you're familiar with the Chevrolet ecosystem you should be fine and finding your way around this menu I don't see anything too terribly new or different there new for this is the 8 inch MyLink my link system my link. what is that my link system on this model I noticed it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto I have heard that they are supposed to come out with a cordless Apple CarPlay I can only hope that that'll be on the active trim level um, dual zone climate or not dual zone climate control so it just uh, a regular climate control which isn't not surprising to me it is a smaller vehicle so um but i seriously like the hvac system setup uh gives you all the information that you need it's clean simple everything's easy to find um i don't feel like if you're a new customer just getting in this you wouldn't know where everything is and what everything means and then the heated seats of course so i mean who doesn't like a good heated seat especially here in northeast michigan new obviously new vehicles so we have a couple of new setups here i uh, still see the dc and the auxiliary jack which you know i mean those aren't going to go anywhere along that usb and then of course to the left of that USB C. I love USB C primarily because of the fast charging benefits there we go so as we go in front here oh super nice so we have added everybody that uh, a lot of people are going to like this button right here uh it is the start stop button and on the let's move the left to right so uh that is the start stop shut off button which a lot of people some people don't like to start stop which i understand but it's nice that they've added that button so to give the driver the option they want to turn it off lane departure warning you can turn that on and off traction control and then these last two buttons are going to deal with the vehicle performance obviously awd is the all-wheel drive button and then that sport mode is or the flag is sport mode uh changes the transmission patterns on the blazer and traverse which you'll see that sport that needs that enables the all-wheel drive but it looks like from what i can tell uh you're able to enable that sport mode regardless whether it's front wheel drive or all-wheel drive super cool there and then um of course you could still do it in the all-wheel drive mode <laughs> And as we move to the front, you're going to find that the Trailblazer is packed with safety features, especially at that LT and on a trim level. Um, let's do this. Back and forth. I'm trying, right? Ten standard airbags, four-wheel disc analog brakes come standard across all trim levels of the Trailblazer. On this one, you're going to find that it gets about 28 miles a gallon combined. You're getting on the high end of 30 on the highway and then the low end in the low 20s. This LT here does have the forward collision alert does have lane keep so if you do feel that um here let's start over right okay so there's a camera placed behind this mirror and that camera looks down the road and it reads the road it's going to do a couple different things the first thing it's going to do forward collision alert senses you set the sensor on the, this car and how much it wants to read and then if you get too close to something it'll beep and let you know this little dot uh, I think it's four or five dots right up LED lights shine up on the windshield gives you an audible tone says hey wake up see pay attention to what's going on here this camera also does a great job of reading the lines so if you do depart out of the lanes it will you know and then also gently keep you into the lane and will pull you back in um, this gets disengaged if you are a proper driver and you use your signal for departing said lanes it will disengage that does have automatic lights and then automatic brights. Fog lamps are here, which is something I'm glad to see they're bringing back in the vehicle. Automatic emergency braking, apply the brake for you, which is super nice. Teen driver mode. That's something that you saw in the 2016 Chevy Malibu. They added the teen driver mode, which is starting to be across the Chevrolet lineup. Um, and there, you, if you have a child and you want to activate teen driver mode, it will give you a report card. Whoever was driving the vehicle's driving habits, like if they're excessively accelerating, um, if any of the analog brake sensors go off or the traction control you go off, it gives you a little report card that you can go in and check afterward. And then, of course, it does have the OnStar system, 4G, LTE, Wi-Fi, and then, of course, OnStar is one of the safest, best programs in the automotive industry. One thing they have added to this Trailblazer that I love, um, it's one of the things I didn't really like about the tracks, and you'll see it on the Encore as well, is they've added 
an armrest. It's small, but it's something that I really, it's nice to have this division. Plenty of storage in this setup. You have the one where down here, USB and auxiliary jacks are. Two cup holders, another one here, and of course some storage underneath here as well. So lots of storage in this little vehicle, along with spots up here on the dash, doors. Chevy, you did a good job. I like the vehicle. Let's wrap it up. So that's it. Thank you guys for stopping by. That's the Chevy Trailblazer. We'll have it in our showroom for a couple of days. Uh, the customer gracious enough to let us display it for a little bit and maybe hopefully we'll have another one in between all that. If you like this video of me walking around that Chevy Trailblazer, do me a favor, hit the like button. And if you want to see more content of what we're putting out here at the dealership and of course myself and then my wife Allison and all that fun stuff that we like to do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, I really appreciate everyone's support so far. I'm hoping next episode we can do a giveaway. Everything goes along with that plan. I kind of want to celebrate everything that we have going on here. I appreciate you guys all tuning in. I can't wait till we get the active. I can't wait till we get the RS and we can kind of walk around those and kind of show you guys the difference of each trim level of the new Trailblazer. And then of course as the 2020 rolls in, I do that with a Silverado and I plan on trying to do a video for every trim level of every car that we have coming in for 2021. Appreciate you guys stopping in. Talk to you soon. Bye.